Welcome to What's Up the Dals. This is our uh, inaugural podcast featuring downtown businesses, and uh, we've got Cynthia Corchia with the Dals Main Street with us today, who's going to talk to us about uh, things going on downtown the Dals and uh, events and uh, great things coming up in the near future. Thanks for coming, Cynthia. Thanks for having me. This is so exciting. Yeah. My first podcast. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. <laughs> now, you've been, been a dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard, I heard, I heard that uh, you and your daughter have kind of oh, been yeah. in a competition. We've, we've been talking about one for years and years. She wanted to do one with her dad, and she called it Don't Tell Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can't wait to hear that one. I know. <laughs> she doesn't really have a format quite set up yet, but but uh, it, it would be good. Yeah, well, I love so, that working title. Yeah. Or that's an actually a permanent title. <laughs> yeah, that. that's a permanent title yeah. for that one. We just don't have any content. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> this is different. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, hey, in your capacity uh, working with the Dallas Main Street, you've been with them for a few months now, and uh, I'm seeing some pretty entertaining things. Um, we just came through the weekend, and uh, there was a, a pretty awesome event that drew a lot of folks downtown. It was called the, um, what was it called, Cynthia? It was the Witch's Walk. Yeah, wow. annual Witch's Walk. Route 30 Bottles and Brews have been doing that for several years now. I, I'm not exactly sure when they started. Yeah. You can find that out. Several and, years. Yeah, it's been it's been an ongoing event. And they've been working really hard to make that event successful and and started that, you know, just as a just as a way to, to get to get folks to come down and enjoy kind of after hours, yeah. um, see what um, see what all the businesses we have to offer and and uh, have kind of an, another fun, engaging event going on right. within the community. And so, yeah, it was very successful. Well, what a, what a great way to get people downtown asking them to dress up and, and come and <laughs> drink wine. Yeah, Why not? Right. You know, right. Right. Um, yeah, Jonna and uh, Jonna LaRoque there and, and uh, Leslie Sullivan. Boy, yeah, they, I, they really have been putting a lot of energy behind that. Josh, I guess uh, you, you actually took a stroll downtown and uh, took a look at all the happenings going on. How, what was it like down there? I did. Hi, Josh, by the way. Uh, your local neighborhood <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, reporter here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's our man of the street. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's what happens when I sit quietly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it was a great time. Um, I started at about 4 o'clock and uh, got to see the witches put on a parade. And, um, oh, wow. Yeah. Great. Right? Did you take your daughter? I did take my daughter. Wow. She said the whole night was spooky. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good. <laughs> How old is she? She's two now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, that'd be an eye-opener. Yeah. I mean, there, there weren't any, like, you know, severed heads or anything. That was particularly <laughs> scary. But oh, that's good. it was a very good, very good night. Yeah. Uh, well, and it was quite a group from what I understand. Um, you were talking uh, in your report something like 300 and maybe 500 passports that people used. And But what did you feel like? How many people do you think were downtown on oh, Saturday? I, I couldn't even keep track. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, people were saying around 700, and hmm. that probably sounds about right. That sound right, that's, Cynthia? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what uh, Leslie told me, that she wow. thought... Yeah, the, the parade had about 100 um, folks participating in that, and they were doing the dance every hour, I think, and they had some fire dancers oh, dan as Did well. You, were you dancing, yeah. Josh? They, I'm, I don't dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. Well, cool. It's a, it's a lot of fun for everybody. So I think there's a lot of different places that people got to explore that don't really know what's um, mm -hmm. that are even there. So hopefully yeah. that'll encourage them to come back, you know, right. another time, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Well, yeah, you know, you know, it, it was a wine walk as well. So you got like the yeah. Sunshine Mill, or right? Wines on second. There's so many great little nooks and crannies downtown. So many, actually, yeah. And to yeah. be able to show off some of those other local things that are available too, that's yeah. that's been really fun as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it was a very wine filled night. That is for sure. <laughs> what, what does that mean, wine filled night? <laughs> well, I mean, you would go to a business and they're like, "Would you like to try some wine?" It's like, well. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> two more businesses, and it's like, well, I got another opportunity to taste wine. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. well, I hope you kept yourself in check. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Today's What's Up the Dallas podcast was brought to you by the Dallas Main Street. They engage the community members and partners in creating a vibrant downtown that illuminates our historic and cultural assets and enhances the district's economic vitality. They're enticed by the sunshine and beauty of the area. Visitors and residents linger and stay because of the vibrant history of downtown the Dalles. 
Nestled in the bend of the Columbia River, our restored buildings and cultural assets provide a backdrop for new energy and resources and are a source of community pride and reflection of the area's rich culture and history. An active entrepreneurial spirit has created destination retail, restaurants, wineries, and breweries, adding to the vitality of downtown, while serving as a regional hub of professional and service businesses. Bike and pedestrian friendly, the district has inviting gathering spaces to engage the public in a wide variety of activities scheduled year-round. Downtown is a destination to live, work, shop, and play. You can reach the Dow's Main Street via the link in our description in the podcast. Very good. Well, it just seems like uh, things are rolling downtown, you know, with uh, First Fridays and uh, some of the other events that, that are occurring downtown, and we just... I don't know. It just seems like there's some momentum down there. There's some energy that, that I've been experiencing. Absolutely, yeah. Last few years, so. I think uh, Main Street's been working really hard. The board of directors is kind of um, taking the last um, year or so and really kind of regrouped a little bit and oh. um, determined, you know, they've actually, um, you know, what what do they want things to look like? You know, what are the things that we need to be doing to, to support um, the businesses and help them be more successful and really bring, um, you know, rejuvenate and revitalize and bring some some life back into our core downtown businesses you know it's a yeah. it's a hard it's a hard competitive market out there you're competing against yeah. online shopping and Am- amazon and you know brick and mortar stores are it's it's hard it's yeah. really hard so um and main street's been a really fantastic program in that it's helped these small communities be able to have some really good structure mm-hmm. to be able to support some of those things that they don't necessarily businesses don't have the time to to access those resources on their own yeah so we can come in and really help you know what are the things that they need and what are the tools what are the grant opportunities that are available what are the things that you know are going to help them be more successful how do we encourage people to support our our community and and you know love the where we work and play and live exactly i mean that's that's the whole thing is uh is is it adds to that quality of life and having uh all these different opportunities and and chances to get together like um i I know josh you were saying like uh downtown was was pretty live up until about nine o'clock or so with the witches walk so oh yeah that's cool well all the businesses were open until 10 so wow i mean it was a really good like opportunity just to see how many people yeah. yeah. To come here and visit the Dallas. Oh, I love that. The Dallas yeah. is so, it's actually so walkable. It really is like an easy, you know, you can access so many things, you know, that kind of, you know, several block radius, even second, third, even up to fourth street. There's just so many really cool things that you can, mm-hmm. you can um, access there. And people don't necessarily realize really, it's, you know, how easy that is to, to go from kind of one end of downtown to the other. It's really yeah. all flat. You're not, <laughs> you're not having to hike yeah. through some hills or anything yeah. like that. So yeah, it's really, it's really accessible. So, which yeah. is really great. It is. That is great. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to think of time. I think it's like 22 minutes from here oh, have anyways, you? Down, yeah. down, down to sunshine mill or whatever. Yeah. You know, yeah, and, that's that's a great little walk. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I've yeah. been I've been doing that a lot more. I've been actually right now I'm getting ready for our trick or treating uh-huh. that's happening on Halloween, of course. And uh, you know, so I've been walking around and just you know checking in with everybody and who right. who's participating and you know doing that a lot more. It's it's something that I I, mean, I access yeah. things as a, a consumer and as a yeah. shopper, but doing this in a different perspective has been really fun and and kind of getting to know you know what are those things and needs that they're looking for. Right. Yeah. Right. That the businesses need. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. How you yeah kind of come in and I, I'm sure it's opened your eyes quite a bit since you've been uh, in this position. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. So so trick or treating is that coming up? Uh, wh- when are we doing that? Yeah, the thirty first. We're gonna do do that. I host that on Halloween. So next a week from today. All right. Uh, that's three to five p.m. So um, and that'll be all throughout downtown. We have. Uh, probably over a hundred businesses participating. Watch for the for the pumpkins. Um, everybody's really gearing up for that. We want to thank uh, the Dallas Chamber. They're helping us um, with supporting some some candy because um, that's a real uh, big expense for the, our, our businesses to help uh, participate in that. That's kind of something that they they have to uh, um, have to put forward that cost. So we, we know I want to help defray some of that for them. So the chamber's helping us with that. And then we also have the Dallas Lions Club is going to um, help us once again with uh, traffic control and just making sure everybody's safe because we've got a lot of, a lot of little um, um, goblins and witches down there <laughs> running around. So we don't want anybody to, to, to get run over or anything yeah. like that. 
Right. I think I think the Lions traditionally do that yeah. and help out. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. They've been such a great resource and su- su- super helpful. To what are you dressing that. up as oh, this year? Gosh, I haven't got my costume figured out yet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible at Halloween. Yeah. It's not my favorite holiday, I have well, to admit. You've just got to get over to St. Vincent's. <laughs> oh, yes. It's at, well, in costumes, is it downtown again oh. now. Yeah. The um, What's the name? What's her name? Um costumes to suit your fancy oh really yeah she moved into the pioneer building um right there down downtown so um susan's um custom sewing moved um over to to west wind um with marty so um they moved in there and set up shop it looks great it's really fun so if you need a costume go check that out perfect yeah what a great suggestion yeah it's really fun really fun yeah how about you josh what are you dressing up as I did have a costume picked out, but my wife told me absolutely. Not. <laughs> you got vetoed. She said it was. She said it was way too scary. Oh no! Well, you like, can't scare the two-year-old. She's gonna have to grow up eventually. <laughs> Don't give her nightmares yet. Well, I'm not gonna give her nightmares, but just a little something to think about before she goes to bed. <laughs> that's, that's no bad move. <laughs> cool. Bad move for sure. Hello, are you a business here in the Dalles that's looking to move product during this holiday season? CCC News is launching a special Christmas catalog featuring hot selling items from local businesses here in the Dalles. This catalog will showcase three popular items from each participating business, helping to promote local shopping during the holiday season. Each business will be featured with pictures of the business's premises, business contact information, pictures of three selected items for sale, and a link to your website. The catalog will be made available online the day before Thanksgiving, ensuring early visibility for holiday shoppers. Reserve your spot for $125, or reserve before Halloween and get a special $25 off. You can contact Josh Albert at media at cccnews.com. And now, back to the podcast. Well, hey, in this uh, in this show too, we try to uh, run down the um, <clears throat> Facebook posts and see if there's anything interesting out there. And I came across this little gem the other day, or actually, my wife Peggy did. <laughs> um, did you know there's a casting call for a film called Angel Hair coming up here in the Dallas? No, yeah. tell me what? What? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's uh, uh, directed by a Sarah Magnus, and they're doing a casting call. Uh, let's see, uh, for a shoot that's going to happen November 18th through the 20th. Um, it says it's a film about the intersection of innocence, independence, and survival experience through the eyes of a child. Oh, interesting. Yes, I know. Oh. Fascinating. Yes. And they're looking for some actors. They're looking for somebody to be a bingo announcer. <laughs> okay. Adult one. <laughs> a food truck owner. Um, a man with tailored pants. Josh, maybe. That could be you. It could be. I, I feel like adult number one's probably more my alley. But, yeah. you know, if I show up with some good pair of pants. Yeah. So, uh, apparently, um, if you're interested, uh, live editions are going to be Saturday, November 2nd at Studio Fit. Uh, that's Hannah Mapes over there. Yeah. Studio Fit. So, that's awesome. Cool. 402 East 2nd Street. Um, if you're unable to attend, you can send in a self-tape. Or we will be accepting self-tapes through uh, November 1st. And uh, there's how to submit. Um, I don't have that information exactly in front of me, but hey, that's that's pretty fascinating. So if you're interested in uh, being in a short film, Studio Fit the Dalles, two to six p.m. on November second. All right, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, anything else happening downtown? Well, we got some new um, businesses come opening up. Oh. Um, is, we're excited. We um, we tried out um, the new Baldwin Saloon is oh. um, back, so that's really exciting. You, you, did you go there? Yeah, we went the other night and oh, had wow. some, uh, some drinks. So it's a uh, um, a little bit of a, a smaller menu. It's not it's not the Baldwin of old, uh-huh. but it's really great. They have a fun um, pool table set up there. Some shuffleboard. We had some great drinks. Oh. A lot of, I think some pizza and appetizers, that okay. kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah. that's fun. 
So well, what, what do you like to drink, Cynthia? Um, well, I'm a martini girl. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, I Just usually straight use, up martini. Well, uh, usually at like espresso martinis, ah. cosmos, that kind of thing. Yeah. Huh. Yep. Very good. Those are those are my favorite. <laughs> I've really gotten into old fashions. Have lately. you? Yes. Yeah. Well, they make a great old fashioned. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> Jeff and Jean had one of those. So. Do they use a local maraschino cherry? Um, yeah, I think they did. <laughs> it was it was def, it was the old um, the old school ones. All right. Yeah, not the right little huh. scary red ones. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Josh? What do you have when you go out? Oh man, you know I'm gonna sound really lame, but I I normally just drink coffee and stuff. <laughs> okay. Like, He's I, an old Dutch Bros guy, so I just can't, hard to break habits, right? Yeah, well, I can't drink anything else anymore. Like, if I drink any kind of like spirits or you know, uh-huh. alcoholic drink, man, if I don't have an eyedropper, I'm just gonna get wasted. Oh no! <laughs> I, like, it really does not take much these days. <laughs> okay. Oh, very good. So, hey, um, not to put you on the spot, Cynthia, but um, who are the folks uh, that are running the, the Baldwin Saloon? Do you, off the top of your head, no? Okay. I don't know. We don't know. Yet. Yeah, we have to look. Uh, yeah. I was just tracking that information down, and I yeah. have not found it yet. Okay, wait a minute. I remember uh, the folks at uh, Baldwin Saloon, that, I think that was Arius and Katie Blaze. Um, yeah, they're open, I think, Wednesday through Saturday. Uh, pretty good deal. I think they're staying open until 2.30s on Friday and Saturday night, too. So that's pretty cool. And then I was looking for, is it Enza or Enzo Cafe? Um, I think it is Enza. Mm-hmm. Enzo's Ferrari. <laughs> Italiana. <laughs> yeah, Cafe Enza. That's correct. Very good. Yeah. So, yeah, I noticed that the other day. I was walking down the street, and uh, that's kind of right there next to Yesterday and Today's Music and um, the music shop uh, where Al works. And uh, I was trying to think. That's I think Wild Brew was the last. Yeah, uh, yeah. The last. Uh, they were, yeah, so they, they moved in just um, a couple weeks ago, and they also are, um, were exciting news. They're um, taking over Jenny Marie's Italian Ice. Oh. So they're going to have a um, – she, she closed up her little food truck um, – that was at the landing mm-hmm. um, at the end of the summer. She's moving on to other things, um, but they are um, taking over that opportunity too. So we're gonna we don't have to miss out on the gelato, which right. that is that is the best. Yeah. Yes. Her, and, that, and it was seasonal, so now they yeah. They, be so able now to they're do gonna it. have yeah. Uh, it's gonna be like all year round, which huh. is really exciting. Huh. So they have all sorts of flavors, and then they have their wood fire pizzas. Um, yeah, it's really it's really cool to be able to have access to that because that's something that was just a summer treat, and now we get to have it all year round. Right? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> how, how about gelato? Are you in, in on that, Josh? It's good gelato. Have you had it? Uh, let's see. That's like ice cream, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> but Italian ice cream, so better, superior. I think I had. <laughs> I think I bought a gelato at the store once. Oh well, it's not the same. I no, I won't. <laughs> No, yeah. I got to check that place out though. Yeah, yeah it's really cool. That's yeah. that's going to be that's going to fu- a fun addition downtown. Yeah. Well, our things, it's just always turning downtown. You just never know uh, kind of what, what you're going to find. That's that's great hearing that the Baldwin's got, gotten re Yeah, and, and love to have that back open. And that's uh, great. Yeah, there's just yeah. there's just so many really great shops and mm-hmm. um, uh, restaurants and breweries and wineries. You know, we're really we're really growing all the time and yeah. more things, you know, in and out. And yeah, that's that's um, it, it's it's really surprising a lot of times, I think. You just don't take the time to come and mm-hmm. explore and find out what you can find. It's easy to get into your routines and, and, right. and you know, know kind of where to go and, or just do it online because it's con- more convenient. But yeah. uh, there's a lot available and um, a lot of real, really kind of hidden treasures yeah. that are available and that you can find. Um, I, I've done the last several years, actually, my girlfriends and I have just done all of our Christmas shopping down here mm-hmm. and, and gone through and kind of made a day of it. And, yeah, um, that's been really, really fun. So, um, and you know, you know supporting. Speak, speaking of that, like um, this is terrible, but I hadn't been into Skookum. Oh, and we went um, probably two months ago or whatever. What a fantastic! Oh my gosh, store Allison for, like, and Nate have done a great job. She's yeah. really, really grown that, and they have so many cool things in there. Mm-hmm. Um, she's really um, kind of upped her game with. Um, it's not just a fly shop at all. Right, right. <laughs> it's not just that. So she's got Pendleton. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's got a lot of Patagonia, um, a lot of do- outdoor clothing, women's yeah. and men's, um, a lot of really cool gifts. Yeah. Um, I got this really cool, um, this is like pendant. It's a little 
Spyglass. Spyglass. Spy yeah. Didn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, cool. just great stuff and fun jewelry. Um, yeah, yeah. It's a really, really nice place for <laughs> so, gifts. So, the thing I found there, they had this uh, cooler. But it was really a backpack, so oh. it was a cooler that you could put, you know, 12 to 20 beers in and carry around on your back. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's what you need. Like, yeah, just exactly what I need. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, and then they had some cool stuff for uh, our girls that we, we got um, kind of for Christmas, uh, but I'm not going to say what here. I don't want to oh, give it away. Yeah, but, don't tell them yet. But, yeah, uh, and actually yeah. they're celebrating their one-year anniversary oh, um, nice. this weekend. Hmm. Um, is they've been they've been here for a year, so that's exciting too. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we got we got lots of lots of fun stuff going yeah. on. Yeah, right there next to lines of design mm-hmm. and uh, trying to think. Uh, there's a chiropractor over there, Greg Kyleman, yeah. and mm-hmm. yeah, right in that nice little uh, mm-hmm. uh, set there's of a stores. Fun little bead shop right yeah. behind there. Right. Mm-hmm. In yeah. that space too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So that's yeah. good. Yeah. Very good. Well, hey, speaking of things um, that people may not be aware of or, or or if they did a little exploring they might find or it's going to come up in a year or two so there's some stuff going on at the uh the hotel uh the dow's in oh yeah the dow's in they've been working on a huge um couple million dollar renovation Ooh. um they're they're redoing um all of their rooms hmm. and um re um re-establishing a restaurant there as well i don't know, oh. if, I know do you remember the tapadera the good old days of the tapadera is that before your time <laughs> It is. It is before my time. The Tavadero is very fancy, yeah. and we used to get dressed up and and go down there for some, um, so you know it was a special occasion huh? uh, place to go. So um, yeah, like, that. But so like they're prom. Yeah. Oh, like prom and like you know holidays, Easter, <laughs> you know that kind of wow. stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, prom was a big deal there. Huh. That that that's for sure. So yeah, they're um, been working hard on um, huh. getting that going and uh, making big progress on that. Um, mm. And then that's the um, new location for. Um, um, the mural, um, the mural society is part of the Dallas Main Street now, and okay. and um, they, um, you know, they brought the wall dogs here um, in a couple of years ago, and mm-hmm. and installed fifteen um, additional murals to what we yeah. had the the original murals in the nineties, um, and so that's a the they now are doing a kind of a mural year. So um, we just completed the, um, the Wasco County mural, the one that used to be on Third Street where yep. the farm stand is now. Mm-hmm. They moved that and because uh, it was in really disrepair and they, they needed to be redone. So they just finished that a couple weeks ago. Great. That looks great. That's at um, that's at Dean Dollarhide's parking lot there at mm-hmm. Second and Laughlin. Yeah. And then so this next year we're gonna do the Umatella House mural that's on the back side of the Dalles Inn. So that's the original oh, kind of location okay. of where the original Umatilla House was. Okay. Back in the, the back in the good old days of mm-hmm. the Dalles with the yeah. the gambling and the river boats. The river boats <laughs> and the. <laughs> I see Mark Twain right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So that's a that's a big project that we're working on um, getting fun, funding established for that we're gonna yeah. re um we're gonna like re um that's not gonna be like a redo it's gonna be uh, a um like a you rededication to, or well they, we're gonna like take kind of strip it down but like repaint over it oh okay so refurbish it yeah, i guess uh-huh. more so it's re- restoration uh, restoration yeah, yeah okay. which is a lot is a lot um it's probably a little it's more costly but it's definitely worth it it's a huge mural yeah i don't know if you've I remember yeah, seeing that I one. It's really it, yeah. big. It is cool. Yeah. yeah. And it's probably one of the ones that's most photographed mm. because the folks that come off the river boats mm-hmm. um, that are here, um, they can easily, you know, they come right up from on Union Street and then they kind of know that that's there. Yeah. And then, but, and it's, um, you know, it's an easy one and it's, it's a real, really well, mm-hmm. um, well, good place to do yeah. that photography great photo, so, op. Great great photo, photo op. op so for folks. They, there's a lot of folks that yeah you see people there yeah. all the time that are taking photos so it'll be nice to get that redone because it's it's, yeah. it's 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 showing its age you know it's 30 years old yeah. i think they did that in the 80s. 90 yeah early 90s yeah okay. late 80s is when they did those original murals so yeah. we have over 36 murals now wow. downtown yeah huh. it's great yeah. It's really great. Yeah. It's sure it's bright and it's it's kind of it's really kind of refreshing. Yeah, you, there's you really some fun down. stuff and then they did that really cool art installation or the ghost murals that they did. Mm-hmm. They did on the Waldron Drug Building. Yeah. Um down at the Lewis and Clark Park. That's another cool piece yeah. too. So kind nice. of just finding even more and more of those all of those hidden gems. Yeah. That really bring back the history of the Dallas. Right. And I think you guys Main Street had kind of had a hand in um getting that uh, latest mural um 
revealed back a couple weeks ago. And yet Adventist Health kind of doing some promotions. Adventist and that Health kind of thing. was our ma- mural sponsor this year. Yeah, they oh, okay. helped. Um, they helped us um, bring that back to life. So right. uh, the Wasco County murals cool because it, it showcases you know it was the biggest county in the west for a lot of years it's stretched to montana yeah from what I understand. clear to montana yeah. yeah yeah so um and that they did a really nice job of really um depiction of that not only on the map of what that was but then hmm. also some some kind of vignettes of um some other things that you would have seen at, at that time nice um so it turned out really good and huh. it's a it's a really nice replacement of what the original looked like so kind of a refresh for for great the new the new day so yeah. yeah we loved our adventist partners they they helped um not only with the mural fest but then also did a lot of um uh, breath breast health awareness oh, for okay. kicking off october mm-hmm. we were able to partner with that for um the mural fest and our wine walk um the first weekend in october so we're hoping to make that an annual event as well right get, uh, get folks downtown and, and enjoy all these fun places i think that was that kind of had a wine walk involved yeah. as well too yeah. right yeah so, that, yeah. yeah so oh, we in, invited all of our local wineries and and and, um, you know, had them come and, mm-hmm. and they were able to showcase, you know, what they have available and and uh, then um, team up with our, our businesses. And mm-hmm. and, um, you know, that was really successful. We had a lot of um, out of town folks show up. We yeah. had a huge amount of different. Uh, we probably had about 75 or so folks participate. Mm-hmm. So for the first year, yeah. we were really happy. Yeah. With yeah. that event and um, kind of showcasing that um, Main Street is backed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the things that we can do for to help our businesses grow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just great that um, your the 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 murals tie into the local history. Which you know, when you walk down you know downtown the Dalles, you could be walking to a building from you know um, the eighteen hundreds, and it, it's just kind of cool. Uh, There's having... some really cool hidden gems mm-hmm. here. I mean, it's it's actually kind of amazing yeah. all the places, and and uh, we want to you know highlight that for sure. Yeah. Um, not only bringing those back and and looking towards you know the future growth of that, really getting some more um, housing. Yeah. It's a, you know, current crisis in the community needing that. So getting well, and and building. on that, like I think you were you were talking earlier before we got got on the mics here. You were talking about a, a project downtown. Um, it's Sigmunds or something, or yeah. So Sigmunds um, is it, the old Oaks Hotel. Oh. Um, is is the that's that Sigmunds buildings, um, which was from the early 1920s. Okay. I believe. So, um, which is that is an amazing project. So yeah. they were awarded. Um, uh, the Oregon Main Street grant uh, last year. Okay. So they just started their um, facade. Okay. Um, the for kind of first phase of that process. So um, Claudia and Michael have been been working hard on starting that. Um, they're going to repaint and um, do that kind of facade restoration mm-hmm. uh, for that piece. And then the next phase, they'll move into um, creating more um, apartments upstairs in okay. the old um, oak. Um, Oak Hotel, yeah. which is awesome. I got to actually go upstairs the other day um, and see the old staircase and all of the um, all the old. Um, yeah. There's an old trap door that they really? used to, Well, it was it was a it was a um, it was a brothel. Brothel, yeah, <laughs> it was a brothel, and there was a trap door that those guys dumped down into it <laughs> when the uh, cops showed up. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. That makes so, sense. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. So they're going to have about, I think, four apartments will be up there. Okay. At the end of that project. It's and, such an ornate building. Oh, it's, it's really, really beautiful. And the staircase is, it, it's just, it's, it's, it's such a hidden gem. You don't mm. even realize it's there. It's kind of yeah. back behind Claudia's, uh, back behind her little um, shop, you know, workshop mm-hmm. there in, in, in her space. And, and you, that's, that's going to, it's kind of in between the two buildings. And so that's going to be really, mm. a really cool project when yeah. that's completed. So we're excited to be, be for- able to take advantage of that grant. Thanks for joining us for this podcast of What's Up the Dalles. Did you know that CCC News reaches an average 95,000 unique readers per month? Our easy and accessible stories via social media are a great opportunity for businesses to get their messages out to your customers in the mid-Columbia. Digital ads on CCC News average 40 to 50,000 views per month and are perfect for promoting retail items and services while greatly increasing your business's name recognition. Ads start at just $2.99 per month, including design. Ask about our six-month and annual contract discounts. Contact me, Tom Peterson, at tom at cccnews.com.
Yeah, that's great. And that's that's a great point uh, you highlight there that, that the Main Street has these uh, these grant programs that can help downtown businesses um, do improvements to their buildings. I, you were talking about things like windows or HVAC or it could be a little project, could be a big project. But um, Yeah, the, so the 2025 grant guidelines are um, they released just released those the other day. Um, and that application is going to be due uh, March 13th, it looks like, 2025. So, um, and that's so the, the, the 2025. So this is a, um, it's through Oregon Parks and Recreation um, and then Oregon Heritage. Um, so okay. there it's it's really focusing on, you know, revitalization of communities with, with Main Street networks, obviously. Mm. Um, you have to be part of that. But um, it's, it's a broad, um, it's, a, it's a really broad eligibility for those projects. So not only is it just facade improvements, but also upper floor rehabilitation, you know, some code compliance, energy efficiency, so windows, yeah. that sort of thing, you know, um, improvements for accessibility. Um, there's kind of an op- opportunity to do rehabilitation and restoration for multiple properties, too. Okay. So um, if that's something that people are interested in we really highly encourage them to um, contact me and we can help you start looking at the application process and help you get that it's a four hundred thousand dollar grant which is it's a huge amount of money (laughs) there is some matching funds that need to happen Mm -hmm. um and and but we can help uh with all of that yeah so so is that four hundred thousand for all of the dals or is that just a uh, you can if get you're awarded if you're awarded for a 400 yeah I mean the award is is um, up to that about oh, amount. Oh. yeah so multiple different mm-hmm. businesses can yeah. apply for that and yes. and if they have a really big project yeah. four hundred thousand dollars yeah cap. we'll want to we'll want to make sure that we kind of take a look at you know what's sure. going to make the most sense and what yeah. we're going to be most successful with the application process yes so there's a couple other um, workshops that are, that'll happen in January. Um, and then I think they'll do the notification of who was awarded in May of 2025. Wow. So, what, what um, a great opportunity. Yeah, really cool. And we, you know, we've been successful in receiving a couple of those over the years since we've had Main Street as part mm-hmm. um, that program's been involved here. So, um, but they've, um, they've increased the, the amount that's available through. So that's even better because, you know, yeah. it's, it's hard to restore these old buildings. Sure. You don't want to lose them. You know, right. you know, we don't want to, we don't want to lose them. And you want to keep them functioning. Like that's, right. that's, that's the most important thing is like, a, it, unless, unless a, a business is generating profit and uh, able to um, maintain uh, it, it, what, what, Otherwise, you're just going to have an empty building. Like right. the, these, got to be usable, fun places to go for locals in our community, mm-hmm. um, and provide services. Like there's a lot of gaps in services here in the Dallas. Right. So, like there's a lot of opportunity here. Yeah, definitely. I think we're right. We're poised for that growth. Yeah. You know, I I felt it right before the pandemic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think we were there too. Yeah. And that sort of uh, knocked us back a little bit. But I think that we've built back up again. And yeah. And um, there's a lot of folks that are willing to invest in the future of this community and it, are looking for that growth you can does, you can feel it I does it does seem that way I mm-hmm. you know I could just I could just name a couple of things that have happened recently and and you can agree or disagree but it like the farm stand it yes. like I think is a great anchor Huge. for the downtown having a grocery store downtown mm-hmm. is amazing yeah that's, that's you know that's a kind of a game changer really it, it really is. it makes it it makes a big difference livability livability like right if you're downtown livability like, walkability mm-hmm. that kind of thing I mean, yeah. you know, it's that that makes a big difference to be able to to access those things, and mm-hmm. you just change how. Um, I think you get you get so far removed from those smaller community, you know, downtown kind of living. Mm-hmm. I think people are kind of not used to that because we've yeah. moved away from that. People, you know, abandon downtowns and and move to the suburbs. Right. Right. So coming back to that. Bringing, I, bringing the people back. Yeah, I kind of I kind of liken that to like uh, small communities who lose their schools, mm-hmm. and uh, the minute the minute you lose your school, you lose that kind of community, the heart, the heart mm-hmm. you know. And I think a grocery store is also a heart yeah. in a similar way. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, and it's been well received. I you know I, I do I see people using it. They love the deli. Oh, it's and, great. Yeah, yeah, I was just in there yesterday. Mm-hmm. Had a couple of things. Saw an old friend that was happened to be here. So yeah. that was fun. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's social so, and and um, I- important. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, and then and then the uh, recent uh, approvals um, 
from the planning commission for the uh, basalt commons, yes, which survived an appeal, and it uh, looks like nobody else is appealing it at this point. So that is a 60-foot uh, uh, building that's going on the old Griffith Motors site that uh, is going to be how many? I, f- I think it's 100 116, plus, maybe? Yeah, apartments. 111, 116, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Um, I, haven't, I haven't talked to Mary recently. And, and, mm-hmm. But, yeah, that's, that's going to be a game changer as well. Yeah. I think, um, you know, having, you know, we put some, um, there's been some lofts and some apartments, you know, here yes. and there. You mm-hmm. know, the Gayer building and and, um, Honold building. Honold building. Yeah. yeah, there's been some things, but I think adding that uh, with the grocery store, yeah. you know, increasing that the, you know, Sawyer's right across the street. That's going to be fantastic. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, all of those things. Um, she's well, yeah, got and you've got building. Downey Furniture's. You can go over and get your furniture yeah. right across the street oh, yeah. too. So it'll be awesome. Yeah. It's going to be. It's really. It's going to be a really cool project. I think they're willing to invest. They've been working on that this really hard, probably since some. Um, I think. 2018, I mm. think, when they first were started to, right. to work on that again, you know, kind of pandemic uh, knocked some things, yeah. wind out of their sails a little bit. But, you know, that that's going to be a, a that's a big deal for mm. the Dallas. And, and it's yep. going to really help the, the housing um, issue, that the crisis that we're facing. Yeah. Uh, you know, not being able to that'll open up some other um, opportunities for elsewhere. Yeah. Within the community. I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you add to the overall stocks and yeah. you just have this ability to. Yes. To. Yeah. provide more housing. And there's folks that are looking for, you know, they don't they don't want to have the family home anymore. Yeah. They don't you know, they want to have the time to maintain all of that or the energy or, you know, mm-hmm. even the, the the physical maintenance that goes yeah. into that. They're looking for something a little bit smaller. They're looking to downsize and and um, those that they've had great success with their um, facility in in Canby. Mm-hmm. It's which is a similar uh, little community to the Dallas. Um, reminds me a lot of that. So um, yeah, yeah, that's that that I think it's going to be really great. Something that you know, finally we haven't had new construction, uh, you know, con- new kind of yeah, downtown. It, not downtown. I think a hundred years. Oh wow! Really? Like yeah. I mean, since you know, real new construction of mm-hmm. of that kind of housing. Right. And 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 that's time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think the Commodore's a hundred years old. Yeah, yeah for I think, sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so. Yeah. Wow. Big, yeah. big changes. Big deal. Big yeah. deal. Yeah. Big deal. It's gonna. It's gonna. But it's gonna. I think it's gonna really. Um, it's. It's not. It's gonna change the landscape in a way that's gonna be really positive for, All right. for the whole community. It's gonna kind of help anchor some of that. Um, wow. The that other side of town too. So much to talk about downtown. There's so and so much. So There's so, so many things. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I think we just scratched the surface here, but uh, I also think that um, uh, we have the opportunity to do this once every two weeks. Yeah. I think we're going to be coming back with uh, What's Up, the Dows. It's our working title right now. And, uh, <laughs> if you have any suggestions, <laughs> yeah. please let us know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. It's all good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very good. Well, uh, Cynthia, thank you so much for joining us here today. Yeah. Thank you. I, yeah. We it's learned be- a lot. It's going to be cool. Yeah. We'll have a lot more to, to talk, talk about in the future. We're starting to work on some of our holiday plans now. So the oh. minute we get done with Halloween next week, uh, we're going to talk about all of our um, holiday events that are that are coming up. So, oh, boy. Um, so yeah. we have some sipping shops. We have some um, shop small business weekends, that kind of thing coming up in November right. and December. So really, you know, really cool events happening. So we'll right. talk about those next week. Well, yeah, very good. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much, thank Cynthia. Thank you for having me. This has been What's Up the Dows coming from you here at CCC News. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good night, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>